What's up guys? Look, I want to pop in with a motivational tidbit. Um, I know it's an absolutely trying time right now. Um, it can be scary for some, it could be unknown for others, maybe both, or it could be a completely new chance for opportunity, for growth, for rebirth, reinvention. And that's kind of what I want to talk about. You know, what what is it that you're doing during this time? You know, perhaps you have been laid off from a job. Perhaps you are struggling. Perhaps you have been an entrepreneur for the past few months or years and you're struggling. Or maybe you've been an entrepreneur and you're completely flourishing. You know, maybe you still have your, your nine to five job. Maybe you still are employed and you're flourishing. Um, you know, either one of those situations I completely applaud you because for either one of those things, you know, you're not alone. And if there's one thing that I've learned through this entire thing, it's that no matter what situation you're in, no matter what you're doing, whether you're in a great place, maybe you're in a scary place, um, is always just to keep moving forward. You know, even if you are still employed, even if you're freaking crushing it, you know, what are you doing with your time to even better yourself? You know, are you working on your own personal health? Are you keeping in shape? Are you exercising more? Are you reading more? Are you spending more time with your spouse, your kids? Are you spending more time with your animals? Are you spending more money on self-development? Are you increasing your skills? You know, if you're, if you're not employed, if you're not crushing it, if you're still struggling, you know, are you using your time wisely to, to improve upon something, to learn something, to, to take in all of this new content that people are putting out, to um, con connect with people, to create things, to get better at something, and again, to also better your health. You know, what are you, are you doing with this time? Um, I see it as that there are three people uh, in this situation right now. One of those types of people are the ones who are just like, blind to the bullshit, right? They're completely just adverse to everything going on. They refuse to believe that anything is going on and that anything is changing and they're doing everything as they normally would. Absolutely none the wiser. I'm uh, just kind of moving through life, you know, in some redundant sort of process that they always do. Um, and they don't really know of anything that's being changed or anything that's different and they just continue the way they are. Uh, the second person is the one who gets really scared and they retreat and they hide during this time of economic uncertainty, during this time of struggle, during this time of um, just uncertainty and being scared. And, and they run and they hide and they just throw their hands up and they are completely at the mercy of whatever happens out there and everything is out of their control. And then the last person is a person that I hope that you are, the person that I'm trying to be. And that is the person who sees this as an opportunity to grow and to advance, to overcome, to rebuild, to retry, to reimagine, to be reborn. And they use this time wisely to grow themselves personally, to reconnect with an old friend, with an old colleague, with an old family member. They learn a new skill. God forbid they try to start a business, right? It may sound crazy, but now is one of the best times to start a business, um, just getting out there and helping people. And I hope you are one of those people who sees it as an opportunity just to grow and get better at whatever it is that you're trying to do. Um, if that seems absolutely impossible, just think that some of the the most long-standing and successful companies that are here right now were formed during a time of economic crisis, economic downturn, uh, during the recession because they, they used their time to look for their opportunities and to figure out a way to help. And I wanted to tell a quick story about how if you are scared about trying to start a business or if you are scared about um, trying to pursue a passion uh, right now, especially with everything going on, you think like, how could I focus on this? Like I need to get a job, I need to make some money. Well, you know, maybe you can make money with the idea that you have. And my story essentially is this, I have been an entrepreneur for a while now, um, you know, going in and out of working for other people and working for myself, just trying to find something that sticks, trying to find something that aligns with my passion. And while I'm sticking with consulting for the lifestyle medicine providers, um, creating a startup that helps gig economy workers and entrepreneurs be connected with alternative medicine professionals, um, as well as doing some speaking here and there. 
you know, I didn't always know what I wanted to do. And still now it is difficult to find people to work with, to find clients. And, um, you know, I reached out to somebody just in my Rolodex earlier and asked them how I could just possibly support them right now. You know, um, now is a time where you have to remember that everyone's kind of in the same situation. If you have a business idea, uh, perhaps you could approach it just like that. You know, reach out to somebody who you know has a problem that you think you can solve. And essentially what I did was like, hey, you know, I, I remember we chatted a while ago. Um, I just want you to let me know how I can support you during this time. And no strings attached. This isn't going to cost you anything. I just want to know what you need right now. How can I support you? And that came from a deep rooted um, want to actually help someone else because you know you have something that they might need and you really just want to to help them and all you know all wanting of sales and money aside if you have a business idea or you think that you have a skill that you can help someone with find somebody with that problem simply reach out to them and and help them and do it for free do it for free you know you're if you're unemployed and you're trying to start a business and you're afraid to help somebody for free, you're not getting paid anyway, so what does it matter? And the best thing that could possibly come out of this is you change someone's life, you give them something that they need, you give them a way to, to help them, and you get social proof. You get a testimonial from them that what you did absolutely crushed it, and that'll help other people find you. And it also hones your skills. It proves to you that you can do what you think you can do by finding somebody who has a problem you think you can solve and solving it for them, not even worried about how much to charge or what sales to make. Just in in a place, in a situation like this, when there are other people who are struggling with money and uncertainty and they have issues, and you're in a place to help them, my biggest advice is just to help them. Maybe that's the first step in your own resurgence. Maybe that's the first step in your own rebirth, recreating yourself from the ground up and finding what you really love to do. That's my biggest message for you during this time. Um, and I hope you stick around to listen to some other rest of the things I have to say. You totally don't have to, but if you want to, you know where to find